Now then YouTube and the soft man and welcome back to some more Sky Factory. As you can probably tell, I am in creative mode and that is because we're going to be going to other people's islands today to see what they've been up to and how they've progressed and how they've been going on. Now unfortunately nobody seems to be online at this moment in time, which is a shame. I would have liked to have come up with somebody uh, so that it can speak, you know, talk to me through their island, but uh, apparently not. Now, this is before, I mean, literally, it's the 30th today, so this is literally before the uh, server changes onto the next um, monthly thing, which is going to be another Sky Factory. This time it's going to be 1.10.2, which is going to be awesome. And also, as well, guys, um, I'm also going to be starting a, a series with my cousin, uh, Shed. Now, we did this in the... Oh, God, why can't I do that? Why is it, why is it being dodgy about it? Oh no, it's okay. We've got it. Um, yeah, as I was saying, guys, I'm going to be doing a series with my cousin as well. Now, we've done this in the past before, and uh, we really enjoyed it. And Shed is missing playing Minecraft, so I said to him, well, why don't we start a new series for 1.10? So we're going to be doing all the mods uh, once again, guys. We're going to be doing all the mods once again, starting afresh. But this time, we're going to be, it was just me and my cousin Shed, and we're going to be taking on 1.10.2, which is going to be fantastic. Let's see how that one goes, but that is going to be coming soon. Right, first and foremost, I've got a list of everybody um, that is that has put their island on the uh, the little um, kind of thing, the list that I've got, and what what numbers, or not what number islands they're on. My God, I wish I could actually speak properly. So, firstly, island number one is a question mark. I don't know who is on site uh, on this particular island. So, island, oops, giant one. Island does not exist. What? Are you sure? Island. Oh, hang on a minute. That should be the right one. Okay, let's go to number two, which is Lee Irwin and Ash. Now, I don't know how much they've been online, because I haven't seen them much, to be honest. We've got a little bit of a dark room going on over here. Uh, we must have had a death. Oh, no. It's that Custo's head from uh, Head Crumbs. But this thing... Oh... Okay, they've done one of these things. This will actually allow you to uh, get spiders spawning as well, because you've got a 4x4 four four area, well, 4x2, should I say, area, which will allow spiders to spawn. That's actually pretty decent. I never thought about doing that myself. Um, it's three high, I believe. No, hang on a minute, there's only two high, so you can't really get uh, endermen doing it this way. But that is pretty good, nonetheless. They've got a smelter here. At least they've made the place look half decent, unlike me. That wasn't half decent. They've got a little bit of a farm going. Um, they got as far as getting a cobblestone gen with a barrel in front of it. I should have done that, to be fair. But, you know, I always forget this kind of thing. An achievement stand. I don't know what this does. Oh, okay. It basically just opens the book and allows you to start clicking away at some stuff. Island of Ash and Lee, indeed it was. Well, they got into a smeltery and they got that far as to making um, ingots and such. But it doesn't seem that they got much further than that. There's a fluid cow here. I have no idea what the hell that is. Now then... Um, really never seen one of them before, but doesn't look like they've got much further than that, which is which is a shame. But Ash and Lee, hopefully you're going to be around for 1.10.2, that'll be fantastic. And uh, I know that these guys are pretty busy with, with life as well, on top of this one, so. Okay, that is Ash and Lee's Island. Let's go to number three, which is D. Dwight. Now, D. Dwight, I have seen him online quite a bit. Oh my god. Okay, this is probably why I've seen him online quite a bit. Jeepers. Okay. Um, probably not going to find everything all at once here. What is this? It's a drying rack. It's got what I would think is a weapon on it. I think, maybe? I'm not sure what the hell that weapon is. But it seems to me that they've lived their life like a candle in the wind. Let's go and have a quick look down here. That's actually a wither spawner right there. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. What's it got going? We've got wither heads flying around. Wither skulls. Wither star. It must be feeding a generator, maybe. I have no idea. I'm probably not going to see the vast majority of things going on, but there does seem to be a big reactor here, which is... I love the look of these cables. I really do. The cryostabilized flux ducts. They are absolutely fantastic. This is creating a cool 9.97 killer RF per tick. That is... Amazing. <laughs> that really is amazing. That's fantastic. Big reactors. Brilliant. It's got an ME system going on. Cracking on down here. With uh, quite a few stuff kicking around inside there as well. Look at this. Look at this. You can actually craft awakened cars and stuff. 
We've got what I would presume to be a dark room somewhere. Is it above it? Oh, there it is, look. It's got these stuff on the underneath there, and it's got stuff killing it inside there. One of the uh, mob things. Mob killers. It's got one of them going on. There, the grinders. And that's all feeding down into the things down here. Um, got plenty of lava generation going on. Plenty of lava generation. Let's have a look around, see what else we can see. Of course, applied energistics. Kicking around. What's this here? An Emmy security terminal. We've got a massive great wood flying around here. We've got a massive tree farm as well. My goodness. Batania has been going quite well as well. Got a good farm going on. Got magical crops seems to be kicking around here as well. Silverwood trees. We've got... A, is that a hemp? Yep, yeah, industrial hemp farm and wheat farm. We've got a, a farm full of cows, pigs, chickens, and some sheep in there. But magical crops, we've got a wither skelly crop growing. Farming station. If that does that do these as well? It must do, surely. That's crazy. Is this done on like special bone mealed crops or something? Because these are growing impossibly fast. I have no idea how that works. What's this? Tesseract. An autonomous activator. I'm not sure how that's working, but uh, we've got this. Living rock, living wood. Seems to have some sort of placer going on. What's that? A rain sensor. And a weather controller. Okay, I really don't know what that is. But this is crazy. The amount that's going on under here. There seems to be an end portal as well. And what is this down here? I have absolutely no clue what this is. It's in the water. Okay, what is this? Oh, is it the Gaia fight? It is, I think, actually, the Gaia fight. Must be some reason why it's done in water. Maybe it slows them down or something. What the heck is this? It's a massive slime with a massive hat on it, so it seems. Must have been kept for some, re for some reason. Is this diamond? Oh, no, it's a growth pulse. Oh, okay, that's what's causing them to grow so fast. Growth pulses underneath. I see. I see. We've got the QED as well. My goodness. Okay. DJ has done quite a lot. And, of course, the Draconic Evolution uh, power energy thing. It's got a 2.14 ton. Ton. You know what I mean? Trillion. Is that the, what it is? Trillion? That's the one. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that that is the one. Being fed with these energy pylons. By the energy tesseracts that are right next to them. That is pretty cool, guys. That is pretty cool. What a base this is. What a base. What's this here? Magical wood. What does that do? I have no clue. I really have no clue. But there's a lot of stuff going on. There's an energy infuser here from uh, Draconic Evolution as well. And there's an Ender Dragon, which apparently you can ride. I'm not going to get on there, but apparently you can. This is pretty cool, guys. Not going to not gonna lie. Pretty goddamn cool. And, of course, he's used the caches, resonant cache, from uh, Thermal Expansion to store stuff in, which is good. All right, let's go to Belgabor and Finvara. And I think uh, Gert was on this particular island as well. Oops, number four. Not sure how much has been done on this particular island, because I know they haven't been on this server much um, on on this particular month around, but... Ah. Interesting. I think they went look, auto compressor. They've also got the automatic hammerer, though, this time. We had the automatic thing... Oh, hang on a minute. What is this auto hammer? Does it do single ones and then you can uh, pipe them into... I have no idea. Maybe it takes these, compresses them down, and then hammers them some more. And then, of course, compresses them back into... Yes, I think they actually do. And then hammer them down again. So you actually end up with getting more per thing that's hammered than what you would do if you were to do it another way. Especially with these fortune upgrades, apparently, that get put into here. So you end up creating quite a lot. Oh, wow. Okay. That is quite a lot. <laughs> that is quite a goddamn lot. Jesus. Okay, there's a pulverizer. That would obviously create dust, I would think. Wow. 
haven't got as far, obviously, as automating the amount of uh, smelting that would have to happen for this. But they've done quite a bit. They've got some witch water in here, which is what we didn't manage to do. And they, of course, got all the bits and bobs from uh, sieving the bits and bobs for, that you can get out of that. They've got a smeltery, which they obviously just put manually into here, I would think. From the chest, should I say, and then put it into here. I would think that was manual. And then that seems to be... I don't know what that is. Seems to be a lot of cobblestone there. I'm, I'm really not sure what this is. There's a lot of stuff kicking around. There's a lot of stuff kicking around. And then, of course, the bits, the uh, compacting drawers, like what we did as well. Seared glass with water in it. That's interesting. What is this? Imperial furnace. Oh, does that automatically... No, it can't. It can't, otherwise that would be smelting. I thought it may... Oh, it might last... It might make the uh, the coal last longer. I'm really not sure if that is the case or not. Uh, an apple tree, obviously, for food. We've got some string. We've got blah, 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 blahs. Going on. A few magical crops, especially Enderman. That is a really nice one to have. The dark... It was a dropper rather than a dark room. It seems. Um, with stuff... Uh, coming through here, I would think. And landing in these. That's a compactor. Oh. You can do that? You can compact down loot bags to make them legendary loot bags? Is that a thing? I never even realised. It's one legendary loot bag. Oh no, that's a wild bag. Oh well. I'm modular storage. I'm really not sure what the heck modular storage is. And um, I know that I've heard of it before and I know people have been messed around with it before, but I'm really not quite sure what it is. Um, there's an IED, or an QED, should I say there. And a programmable red net. So this, yeah, it's a reactor. This is not currently running, but I like the fact that it's got re programmable red net in there. I'm really, I'm not going to go around pressing it because I don't know what it'll do. Um, and then there's a massive long line that goes to the wilderness, but it also goes to this little thing over here. Reinforced obsidian, which is witherproof. Oh, that is interesting. Oh, okay, they spawn, like, I think they can spawn the wither here, and then they just put that up, and it it actually stops the wither, and you can just go ahead and just keep whacking it like that. I'm pretty sure that that's what you can do. And what's this little guy over here? Dr. Treoris. <laughs> Dr. Treoris is over here, wandering around. You're in the wrong series, fella. You're in the wrong series. So it seems as if that's as far as they managed to get, which is, seems to be a lot further than what I got with some of the stuff, especially this here, and big reactors and stuff like that. I never got into big reactors that quick. So, and of course, the, the, the things that spawn there. So that was world number four. World number five, Jiso. Now, I know he hasn't been on for quite a lot of time as Jiso, unfortunately, for this month. Um, he's got this. What are the spikes for on the outside? Probably just decoration. But uh, this will allow spiders to spawn, I would believe. He's got uh, a smeltery going on, so he got that far, which was good. Which was good. Good. Jason's magical island. And uh, it's got a few bits and bobs kicking around here. The drying rack that's got uh, obsidian chisel and the ender on there. One solitary tree. And there's a couple of magical crops, Minicio and Dai. A few bits in the farm there. And we've got a farm just over here as well. It's got a red... What are all these cows? Moo fluids. It's destabilized redstone. Does that mean you can like use a bucket and you get destabilized redstone off it? That's crazy. I mean, how does that even work? How do you get them to do that? And of course, the customary, uh, the customary walrus that uh, Jaiso always seems to put down. And, um, yep, yeah, pretty much simple, similar things to what I've got. Although he's got this feeding down into here, which will make dirt automatically. I didn't realize you could do that and put transfer nodes on them and they will, they will get the, uh, the dirt out. That's interesting to know for the next lot around. Uh, liquid XP. And, yeah, okay. So, moving on from Jaiso's Island, we've got Count Doom. Now, every time I logged on, Count Doom was pretty much around all the time. So this should be pretty decent. 
Um, and Count always makes the place look good as well. So, as you can see, we've got some witchery stuff over here, some new witchery stuff. Uh, we've got... This is... Oh, I love the fact that you have to have this all the way around to make it at least half decent. 9,480 with a times five on there as well. That's crazy. Very, very good. Very good with the witchery stuff. And uh, a whole load of witchery stuff going on over on the back wall here with some poppet shelves. Death protection. All of these will work on the player as well, won't they? I pretty much I think that it will. Uh, you don't have to have them on your person if you've got them on a shelf. I think that's how it works. We've got the um, silver woods over there. We'll get to that in just a second anyway. Um, the dark room. Wow. Okay. That has a lot of stuff spawning. It looks as if it might have some way of pushing the entities over onto these spikes here. I'm not... I don't see any a fan or anything like that. I'm really not sure. I can't see anything. But so we've got the dark glass that you can see through. It must have some way of pushing them. But where do they go? Probably down underneath, I would think, all of the items. Or maybe they go over here. Ah! Yes, maybe they do go over here. So we've got the compactor on here as well, which is the loot bags. I'm really not sure how this compactor works. I honestly don't know. Oh wow, okay. There's a lot of stuff kicking around on the inside of there. It's got an energy cell. Brilliant. We've got the nether. That doesn't seem to do anything the nether, I must say. Uh, we've got draconic evolution. I love the fact that count makes things look decent. It really does. The energy core with the energy tesseracts, racks, of course, on the underneath. This seems like a tier... Oh! No, it is. It's just slowly making its way up. It's a tier 7 one. It's the biggest... I think it's the biggest one that you can get. Um, a lot of individual machines that you can get for use over here. I would think that they're individual ones. We've got the cows. Look, there's another one over here. Is that slime? No, it's liquefied emerald. That is really interesting. It really is. And of course, through here, you can come towards the Britannia room with all of the petals that you can get. And this along with what are these why do these mana spreaders have like pumpkins on the side of them is it because it's uh because it's halloween at this moment in time it's the 30th anyway i'm not sure if that is the case or not we've got a smeltery here witch water um being done with ender io the liquid conduits actually and the item conduits so you can put I would presume you can put stuff into here and it'll pop stuff into there and it'll pop out at the end here i would think that that is the way that that's done We've got a few crops going on. We've got a few magical crops as well. With the skeletons, one of them. Um, the Ender place, End Cake. Let's go down another level. We've got a big reactor, which seems to be full. Stuffs. And that is doing 15.4 killer RF per tick, and of course, loads of lava. Um, that fed into magmatic dynamos, much like what I did, but this time into an energy tesseract, which I can presume probably goes up into that thing over there. Uh, we've got the capacitor banks, which is being... Is it being fed? I'm not quite... It's probably not being fed now, because it's being fed over to there, and all the power is coming from there instead, I would think. And these, you've got the automatic sieves, which I really don't know where they go. What I... Maybe they go into here? I would think they actually do go into here. Draconium? Really? What do you have to do to get that? Is it end? Endermen. Stone. Into here. So that's making end stone. Okay, you probably sieve end stone to get draconium. Which is fair enough. I didn't realise that, otherwise I might have set something up to do that. But these seems to compress them. Oh, well, it will take cobblestone out of here and put them into here. Get them pulverized down into sand, and of course the sand going into uh, dust, and the dust coming into here. Which, I could only presume, goes through the floor, via the um, kind of painted blocks, into here. And then into here. And then into here. Wow. Okay. That's a massive chest. That is a massive chest. No idea what this actually does though. Does it automatically smelt them or something? I have no idea. I really have no idea. We've got some more magical crops over here. Manishio and Endermen. 
If I pop down another level, there's nothing else underneath here apart from some growth pulses and uh, some spot loaders, I would think they are. Um, and we've got some witchery trees. Oh, she's even put more stuff down here. I mean, how amazing is that? It's great. Love it. Absolutely love it. And of course, the uh, Thorncraft Island. Let's go over and have a look. quick look at this. What's this over here? Is it Angel Block? Obsidian. I have no idea what that's going to do. But the start of uh, Thorncraft going on over here as well. I say the start. Look at this. It's got the armor and everything kicking around. But there we go. That is Count's Island. There's quite a lot going on in here. That's brilliant. That's what I like to see. Also, look, Applied Energistics 2 and um, an Enchanter. Interesting. Okay, that is Count Doom. So the next one is Island number 7. That is Red Bug David MC. Let's go and take a look at how far these got. I didn't see uh, Red Bug and David MC that much, but I know they have been on. Wow, this is like blooming. Oh, my goodness. What is this? Thermoelectric generators. That's what they've gone with. It's like blooming spaghetti junks. It's like crystal maze. Do you know when you used to do that stuff when you was a kid and you used to put string everywhere, you know, like Mission Impossible, and you had to go through without touching the, uh, without touching the string and all that sort of stuff. A matter receiver. One connected screen. And that is a capacitor bank. I'm not quite sure what this is for. Um... There's a whole load of stuff. Solar panels Mark IIs on there, creating no RF particularly because it's night time at this moment in time. What is this here? It's an RF tool screen. Auto running, powers at 100%. I don't know what this is. I honestly don't know. There's a skelly there though. I'm not going to get involved in that. There's a harvester. I can see that things were started and possibly going into... Um, oh dear me. Uh, possibly going into uh, you know, being automated and stuff like that. There's a lot of stuff going on here. Smeltery. A small smeltery at that one. Tiny one. So much going on. Britannia. They seem to have dabbled in quite a few things. The, uh, the obvious the dark room. Which is smack. Don't know what this is. This is Oh, okay, a big dark room with a grinder in it. I see. I see. Mushroom. We've got some witchery going on. Some witchery trees. Rowan leaves. We've got a few trees kicking around over here. With an altar with 1,108 times one because there's nothing on top of the altar. Tiny little bit of witchery going on. Um, other than that, I really don't know what, how things are working over here, so I can't tell you. Ooh. There's a tiny little ME crafting area going on over here with auto compressors doing exactly what I've done. Fading into here from uh, up there. Cocoa beans. Oh, that's the uh, the extras are going out over there, aren't they? I see. Oh, there's an elevator. Right, there's some stuff going on down here as well. I'm not quite sure what this is. But let's go around down and take a look. There's a bit of a... I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I don't know what's going on down here. There's a few things. Silas is down here from Head Crumbs. Um, with some lapis blocks. I really don't know what's going on down here. Oh, bye. I really don't know what's going on down there. But it seems fun. <laughs> it seems fun down there. There was one hell of a party was had down there as well. All right, well, let's move on to the next island, which is Saturn's Island. I don't know how often Saturn's... Be Oh, wow. Ah! Uh. Oh. <laughs> wow. Okay, I've got some boosts going on over here. My goodness, I have got some boosts. What is this? What in the name of... Seriously? <laughs> what is this? Oh, the chance cubes. Okay. There's a chance cube island what's gone on over here. I won't look at that. <laughs> I won't look at that. Saturn's got a nice little house over there. Let's go and take a look at that first thing. It's got a nice little green area going on. Look at this. Imagine the speed of this thing. That'd be awesome. What's this? Essence lamp. Oh, he's got some fluid cows in here. So that is molten lead. Lumium. 
I've never even heard of these. Nutrient distillation. Ethanol. Sludge. No idea. A little bit of a farm going on. What's going on inside here? Wow. Chandelier. I want to swing from the chandelier. I can't swing from the chandelier. I'm disappointed in life. There's a squid head there. Um, a fridge. Oh, cooking for blockheads. Now, this is something that I did want to get into, uh, but didn't manage to get the time round to do it. Obviously, uh, the first person that I've seen gone into cooking for blockheads. That's pretty cool. Um, you can go into here, all the pans, pots, and stuff like that. I love stuff like that. I love this. Absolutely love this mod. You can just click out of there what you wanted to get out, and uh, you'll just go ahead and eat it. And there's a fancy workbench from um, Bibliocraft. I like those as well. A little ME system going on, which I never even got into. A lava drum, which has tons and tons of lava in it, um, in going into the smelter for doing bits and bobs from here. That is a lot of crafting tables. Now, the reason why it's done in crafting tables is because I believe they don't actually catch on fire, which is why they're done in crafting tables. Although they're made of wood, they don't actually catch on fire, as you can probably tell, because there's probably a lava block right there. Yes. Oops. You can have that back. There's too much going on. There's too much. There's too much. Too much going on. There's a sheep that's going absolutely crazy over here. Tons of diamond blocks. Tons and tons of them. So it seems as if he's got some sort of setup going on with uh, automatically compressing stuff and doing all that sort of stuff as well. And being smelted up. Although there's a lot of blocks. And there is a lot of blocks there. He's got a dropper as well, which is feeding into all of these. And a place going on in the background. And all of the uh, bags that go into here, I would think. Why does he have a compressor in... See, I just I don't understand this. Why is there a compressor? Maybe a compressor, you know, makes legendary loot bags. I can't see because I'm in creative mode at the moment. But there's mycelium with a witch water going on over here with a little bit of uh, thing going on. Pink generator, which will make power out of anything pink, which is interesting. It's another way of doing things. But uh, I don't think there's much else to see from here. There's got a massive thing going on over here. Seems to have... Let's have a look. Ooh. It's a Lumion block. Now, this isn't actually a typical... Um, a, a typical thing. I don't think it is, at least, anyway. You can let me know in the comment section below, anyway. Right. Well, I think we've... We've come in, We've had enough for this particular pack. Cause it's go, we're going on to half an hour yet. And I've still got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six... Six people more to see. Six more islands to see. So... As at the moment, some very good progress going on. Um, let me know as well, in the end of next episode, guys, who do you reckon has done the most work and has, you know, done... A, who would you give, like, Island of the Month? Let's go in. Let's give, a, let's give a, a nice reward. Island of the Month. Who would you give Island to the Month? But that will be for the next episode. So just keep in mind what you've seen in this one. I'll go ahead, straight away record them, and get both episodes out as quickly as I can so that you guys can vote on Island of the Month. But that is going to be it for this particular episode. I will see you in the next one. Until then, I've been the Softman. As always, stay safe.